If it's your first time fishing in Marathon, boy are you in for a ride. From shallow flats to deep blue waters, this particular set of keys is just waiting to unlock your true heart's desire. In other words, if catching big fish is on your bucket list, you've come to the right place. Today, we're heading down to the Florida Keys to check out one of the top places along the archipelago to cast a line from. We'll go over the what, when, where, and how of fishing in Marathon and give you a sneak peek into some of our anglers' most recent catches. After watching, you'll be ready to start fishing along one of the most unique and productive set of islands on Earth. But before we get into all that, be sure to like and subscribe below to stay up on all our latest angling videos. Since the Florida Keys are conveniently situated between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean, you can expect the fishing out here to be phenomenal. Marathon, which is located right in the middle of the archipelago, is one of the best areas to head out from because of its easy access in all directions. The city consists of a 10 mile long string of islands filled with remarkable fishing spots as well as charters that are available to take you out to deeper, less accessible waters. One of them being the famous Marathon Hump, an underwater mountain range that serves as a feeding station for all kinds of different fish. Located approximately 27 miles southeast of Marathon, this is hands down the number one offshore spot for charter boats. Here, the waters range from 400 to over 1,000 feet deep, making it the perfect habitat for both bottom and pelagic fish. As fun as deep sea fishing in Marathon can be, the best thing about this town is that you don't have to travel to really deep waters to battle big fish. You can stay a stone's throw away from shore while targeting some of the Western Hemisphere's most prized species. We're talking tarpon, snook, bonefish, and many, many more. We'll get to the individual species you can catch in just a bit, but first, let's go over some more of the best fishing spots in Marathon. If you plan on fishing from shore, some great places to get started are Sombrero Beach and Oceanfront Park. These are also great areas for relaxation, kayaking, and many other fun family activities. If you're heading out with a guide, you'll most likely fish the Seven Mile Bridge, which connects the middle and lower keys. Lots of fish like to congregate around the bridge pilings here, making it an excellent spot for tarpon fishing. Crossing over the Seven Mile Bridge, you'll hit Bahia Honda State Park, an island that offers nature, history, relaxation, and excellent fishing all in one place. The best way to check out most of these spots is by hopping on a marathon fishing charter or guide to take you out to some of the less accessible waters where the fishing is amazing. Bait, tackle, and licenses are provided on board, so all you have to do is show up and the crew will take care of the rest. Now that you have a better idea of where to get started, let's see what some of the top target species are in Marathon's waters. You can't talk about inshore fishing in Marathon without mentioning the mighty Silver King. Tarpon are one of the most sought after game fish in the world and a top prize in Florida's waters. If you're looking to break some records, tarpon fishing in Marathon is particularly rewarding. Just remember this fish is strictly catch and release, so no matter when you catch it, be sure to put the fish back into the water. Another favorite that also likes to take the spotlight here is snook. The shallow waters here are wide open, creating the perfect opportunities for sight casting, but catching one is no small feat. If you manage to land a slab snook in these waters, you can feel proud of yourself. Just remember to handle the fish with care and pay attention to closed seasons. If it's not in season, release the fish back into the water. If you're looking for keeper fish though, don't worry, there are plenty of them out here for you pescatarians. You can target several snapper species such as yellowtail and mangrove snapper along the reef line and in shallower waters. You can also try your luck against mutton snapper, an excellent fish to target for beginner anglers. They're usually located along the flats as well as throughout channels, reefs, and other structures up to 250 feet deep. Speaking of deeper waters, this is where the real action begins. Marathon deep sea fishing is a completely different world. As we mentioned just a few minutes ago, the Marathon Hump is a hotspot when it comes to charter fishing. Out here, you can target a range of big game species including tuna, wahoo, amberjack, mahi, and the list goes on. And when it comes to mahi, this is a great deep sea target for all skill levels. This colorful and not to mention delicious fish offers impressive acrobatics and fast bursts of energy to keep you on your feet. The good thing though, is that they're known for having relatively low endurance. However, that doesn't mean that they don't fight back, especially the bigger ones in the 40 pound range. If you're hitting the Gulf Stream aboard a Marathon Fishing Charter, the opportunities just continue to present themselves. Distance to the current will vary depending on the time of year, but it can approach as close as 10 miles from shore. Here you can go after various types of billfish, including blue and white marlin, sailfish, and even swordfish. And it doesn't end there. 
Have a charter take you to various spots along the islands and add even more fish to your bucket list, such as grouper, cobia, sharks, barracuda, cool jack species like African pompano, and many, many more. To learn about when the best time to go fishing in Marathon is, be sure to keep watching to get the full breakdown on fishing seasons and other important info you need to know before you head out. The great thing about the Florida Keys is that no matter when you plan your trip, the fishing here is amazing. Of course, some species will peak during certain times of the year, but there's no need to worry because there's always something biting. For example, sailfish are available year-round, but the best times to head out for them is between November and April, while the best times to go after marlin are from May to October. Mahi-mahi are also a great target between May and October, while the best time for wahoo is from November through February. As for inshore fishing in Marathon, it's also solid year-round, however, things really heat up in the spring and summer. If you're eyeing an inshore Grand Slam by catching bonefish, tarpon, and permit in a single day, the spring, especially May and June, will give you your best opportunity to do so. Just keep in mind that tarpon and bonefish are strictly catch and release fish. Snook are also subject to strict regulations and are usually catch and release only, depending on the time of year and whether you're fishing the Atlantic or Gulf side. Knowing exactly when and where to head out can be a bit overwhelming, which is why we recommend taking a look at our up to the minute marathon fishing report. You can see exactly what anglers are catching and from which spots, see what's working and what's not, and get other tips and clues as to how to plan for your upcoming trip. Given the fact that Marathon consists of seven islands stretching 10 miles long and is surrounded by water on all sides, there are numerous ways you can go about fishing here. The first and easiest way is charter fishing. Hopping on a Marathon fishing charter will not only grant you access to waters that are otherwise harder to approach, but you'll also have the advantage of a knowledgeable and local guide by your side. Another added benefit is that you don't have to worry about getting a fishing license. All registered saltwater charters are licensed for everyone on board, so that's one less thing to think about. Tackle and bait are also usually always provided on board, so you don't have to lose time looking for somewhere to rent or buy from. A more affordable option than hopping on a private charter is party boat fishing. This is essentially a shared trip on a charter boat, so you'll be fishing alongside other anglers, but the cost is much cheaper since you're only paying for your portion. Another option would be to rent a kayak. As we said earlier, Sombrero Beach and Oceanfront Park are excellent locations to get started. And of course, you can also opt to fish from shore. Some great places to cast the line from are Bahia Honda and Sombrero Beaches, as well as Boot Key and Fat Deer Key. Now, we're sure you're excited to get started, but before you do, it's important to familiarize yourself with the local rules and regulations. If you're fishing on your own, whether from shore, a boat, or a kayak, and you're between the ages of 16 and 65, you'll need to purchase a fishing license. However, as we just mentioned, you won't have to worry about this if you're hopping on a saltwater fishing charter. Not only are licenses included, but bait and tackle are usually always provided on board as well. Make sure you're always paying attention to bag and size limits, as well as any restrictions or closed seasons, and make sure you're practicing catch and release whenever possible. For more information on Florida fishing licenses, as well as other rules and regulations, be sure to read our full blog article or check out myfwc.com for the most up-to-date info. And last but certainly not least, remember to always fish safely and responsibly. Okay, now that you have a better idea of what fishing in Marathon looks like, it's finally time to start planning your trip. You can download the Fishing Booker app from Google Play or the App Store, or just visit us online. With hundreds of local captains, verified reviews, and hassle-free booking, you'll save time and money and experience an exciting day on the water. So go ahead and download our app or head over to fishingbooker.com and start planning your adventure today.